A pizza delivery man robs a bank with a bomb and dies on August 28, 2003. Brian Wells had a complicated homemade bomb clamped to his neck and calmly handed over a note demanding $250,000. But the bank vault could not be opened and so he took the cash he was able to get from the teller and left. Within minutes he was intercepted and arrested by police. A tense backwards and forwards ensued as police cleared the area and tried to understand what the hell was happening. Around 25 minutes after being arrested, the bomb detonated before the bomb squad could arrive, blowing a fist-sized hole into Wells' chest and he died within seconds. This sparked an eight-year saga that eventually pointed to a complicated conspiracy between Wells's colleague at the pizza shop, a drug dealer, and a sex worker, as well as two crazed hoarders, one of whom probably murdered at least three of her lovers and was ultimately labeled the plan's mastermind and convicted for the robbery. During her trial, Wells was incriminated by a member of the group and is officially labeled a co-conspirator, though later revelations suggested he may have been innocent and an unwilling participant. This story is covered in much, much more detail in the Netflix documentary Evil Genius. 